my name is Kosuke Ito, working at the University of the Ryukyu, Okinawa, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk on a mesoscale hybrid data assimilation system based on a JMA no hydrostatic model. This is a, a research mode work. And uh, before starting my talk, let me introduce where is my, explain where is my university. My university overflowed by tropical cyclone tracks, and uh, my university is located over here. And uh, we are uh, usually hit by many tropical cyclones. Only in the last five years, we got 27 tropical cyclones approaching. So uh, it's very glad to announce we will have uh, uh, aircraft observations uh, around a tropical cyclone, uh, tropical cyclone Pacific Asian research campaign for improvement of intensity estimation and forecast that this project will be launched uh, in this, this summer and four year project. Due to the limitation of, of uh, the budget, maybe we will have a flight just only one or two times in a um, year, but um, uh, we hope we have a good collaborations. And also we are planning to have a targeted observations uh, with the aim of improving the intensity of tropical cyclones. So uh, it may be related to the, you know, maybe uh, future my presentation. Okay, so let me uh, discuss about uh, hybrid ENK 40 bar system. I think everybody knows uh, 40 bar system depends on a uh, model, numerical model itself and observation and the background LA covariance. And 40 bar systems requires a prescribed background LA covariance B and traditionally, it was constructed based on a climatological LR statistics. Recently, a you know, hybrid method is used and that uses the uh, ENKF-based LR statistics. And we expect that LRs around a severe weather events uh, substantially deviate from climatology. So uh, we think, you know, the hybrid system can gain, you know, the benefit, the uh, severe weather event forecast. So, however, the number of studies on a mesoscale hybrid ENK 40 bar system is still limited, in particular for heavy rainfall events. So, to make sure the benefit with JMA operational mesoscale 40 bar system, we conducted a lot of number of uh, forecast experiments. And also, we tested the dependency on a choice of implementation here. Uh, we tested the spec spatial localization and spectral localization and neighboring ensemble approach. The, because the, you know, uh, spatial localization gives a substan substantial increase of numerical cost. Uh, hereafter, I call the JMA operational non hydrostatic model based 40 bar system, Genova, as 40 bar BNMC, and LETKF system as LETKF, and hybrid system, we call it the 40 bar BENKF. Okay, more specification of our hybrid system. Numerical model is based on a JMA non hydrostatic model. Um, system is basically agent based 40 bar system with the LETKF. And interaction between 40 bar and LETKF, you know, there are so many kinds of hybrid systems, but here we use the one way, this, uh, data simulation coupling. It means, you know, uh, we got a perturbations from the LETKF. And so it is used in 40 bar system, but the result of hybrid system is not used LETKF system. And we mixed the uh, background LA covariance uh, by 20% of NMC derived one and 80% derived from, from ENKF for these hybrid systems. And as I mentioned, you know, several types of implementation were tested in this work. Uh, 40 bar B ENKF L, spatial localization is used. I think this is the most common way to, to use and no error correlations between separated grid points. And 40 bar B ENKF S, spectral localization, uh, it, you know, assumed no error correlations between separated wave numbers uh, rather than the separated grid points. And third one is a uh, neighboring ensemble approach. It's kind of a, a simplified version of, of uh, BNKF S. And for reference, I like to add 40 bar BNKF zero using a row perturbations uh, from, from ENKF system. The reason why we tested all oh, uh, several kinds of system is the you know, numerical cost. And the, if we think about the control vector lengths, the B in KFL has a very long control vector, but we have only very negligible amount of control vectors if we uh, use this kind of spectral localization of neighboring ensemble approach. So it's almost negligible uh, as far as we have uh, ENK based perturbations. Okay, so uh, Genova 40 bar system uh, is a JML non hydrostatic model operational 40 bar system. 
Uh, in this system, incremental approach is employed. Uh, after numerical model coordinate has a grid spacing of five kilometer and 50 layers, and inner model coordinate has a 15, I'm sorry, five kilometer and 50 kilometers uh, and 640 layers. And the microphysics is replaced by large scale condensation and a simulation window has a length of three hours. And originally in this Genova system, background error covariance is constructed based on the differences between 12 hour forecast and six hour forecast in 2011. And perturbation is obtained from LETKF system. Uh, this system has a 15 kilometer mesh. So uh, after that, we would like, I'd like to show the result you know, from LETKF forecast, but uh, please watch uh, carefully see the result because the uh, effective you know, horizontal grid spacing is this, this here is five kilometer and here 15 kilometer. And in this uh, LETKF system, cane fridge scheme is used and three hour data simulation and update cycles and horizontal vertical localizations and 50 members. After obtaining the perturbations uh, from this LETKF system, we uh, put this uh, B, you know, uh, after some adjustment to 40 bar system. Okay, so let me explain a single observation uh, test result. Uh, here is a tropical cyclone and first gas field. You can see the swirling wind field here. And uh, this is a radial and height cross sections. As you know, you know, tropical cyclone is ex equipped with the, you know, warm core. So uh, they have, uh, you know, azimuth, if we see the azimuth on mean potential temperature anomaly, we have some deviations of potential temperature in a first gas field, you know, as, as you know, uh, warm core in the upper troposphere side. Okay, so we add the observations over here, uh, sea level pressure at the center of TC Rocky, and innovation is, uh, five he hectopascal, and it weakens the TC intensity. And time is, uh, this observation is at, uh, introduced at the end of assimilation window. It means the three hours at the, from the beginning of, you know, assimilation window. Okay, so this is a potential temperature increment at the 10 kilometer height and the beginning of assimilation window. Our largest change are uh, in each map is, is, uh, you know, marked by, by these courses. As you can see, first, you first notice the largest changes in the hybrid systems, all they show, uh, you know, the location of observations. So it is reasonable because large change is expected in a, uh, you know, upper troposphere of tropical cyclone. So these are reasonables. But uh, in 40 bar B NMC system, the largest change uh, happens here. And also you will notice, you notice that uh, there are several, you know, uh, barrier patches, uh, except the 40 bar B and KFL. I do not say all of them are coming from sampling noise because, uh, tropical cyclone system, uh, affect the old areas. But I, I, I do believe that, uh, many part of them are coming from the sampling noise, uh, because we use just as 50 members. Okay, so, uh, this is as in Wilson mean potential temperature increment. This is a radial, uh, you know, from center and outside of tropical cyclone, bottom and top. And, uh, upper left panel indicates the potential temperature change in the 40 bar BNMC system. The largest change occurs in the lower troposphere. You know, it's not likely to be, uh, very natural because tropical cyclone, in a tropical cyclone system, you know, sea level pressure should have, uh, large changes in an upper troposphere. So uh, these hybrid systems are very, seems to be very natural, uh, except 40 bar B and KFE L system. Uh, in fact, you know, 40 bar B and KFE L system, the uh, upper maximum is very weak. Uh, but actually, if we decompose the increment into ensemble based part, actually ensemble based part capture this kind of upper troposphere changes. But um, NMC-based, uh, you know, contribution is uh, sufficiently large, so we see the large changes in the lower troposphere. Uh, this is due to the vertical localization in the uh, modern point grid space world here. Uh, and uh, I do not show today, but uh, in my paper, I tested the vertical ro localization and cut off. After that, we will find a strong secondary, uh, you know, a strong the maximum decrease of temperature in the upper troposphere. Okay, so after the three hour time integration, this is the plot for the end of uh, assimilation window. All similar, so I was so surprised and also uh, 
somewhat depressed because the 40 bar VNMC each means, you know, gives a very good job. So uh, it gives a weakening warm core at the end of a simulation window and also potential temperature increase uh, in a stratosphere all, you know, similar. Uh, it means, you know, the time scale is three hour time scale is sufficiently long in terms of a tropical cyclone dynamics. Uh, nevertheless, we still find some differences. For example, the horizontal coherence. If we uh, check the barriers uh, at the height of 11.5 kilometers, uh, you know, hybrid systems gives very similar uh, temperature increment, even at the end of a uh, simulation window. But the 40 bar V NMC systems, uh, you know, has a large scale features. It provides uh, more energies to outside. It means, you know, 40 bar V NMC increment has a horizontally large scale feature. Okay, so now we would like to apply these systems to, to real data simulation and the forecast experiment. Um, for intense tropical cyclones in this, uh, verification area in 2011 and 2012. Um, based on a 60 to forecast, uh, actually the track forecast scale is almost same between hybrid systems and LETKF system. It improves the track forecast about 10% with respect to 40 bar B NMC system. And the intensity forecast scale, hybrid systems are the best, gives the best result, uh, 40 bar B, than, than the, you know, 40 bar B NMC and LETKF system. And uh, scales in hybrid system uh, is insensitive to the implementation. It also surprised me, but the after you know three hour time integration, but the all the kind of the hybrid systems gives a very similar result in terms of a uh, you know tropical cyclone track and intensity forecast. In general, the improvement with respect to 40 bar system are statistically significant based on 62 forecasts. Okay, so let me explain the reason why, you know, track forecast skill and in, uh, intensity forecast skill. This is a composite analysis of, of uh, meridional wind. The upper left panel indicates the 40 bar BNMC. Here is a tropical cyclone, so you see the swirling wind like that. The other panels indicate the differences between a uh, uh, 40 bar system and that system. And uh, if we are interested in the large scale mean flow, which impact on a TC track, the uh, four, four systems are very similar to each other, you know, because tropical cyclone itself is affected by the large scale flow. So if we have the similar, uh, you know, blue winds in this case, so in that case, you know, um, track focus is similar among, you know, uh, hybrid system and LETKF system. But if we focus on the storm core size area, the some difference uh, are found uh, in, for, for example, in this case, um, LETKF system has a different structure here. So it means, you know, that uh, I'm taking the ensemble mean, you know, the geographically fixed ensemble mean. So it means that vortex uh, is tended to become large. So it can be is up, uh, represented over here. Okay, so this is a, uh, uh, to make sure, uh, this is a composite analysis of steering flow. The hybrid systems and the LETKF systems is similar but the 40 bar NMC, BNMC is slightly different from other systems. This, is, this can explain why the track forecast system, uh, track forecasts are very similar between hybrid systems and LETKF system. The, for, in terms, uh, as for uh, intensity forecast, uh, I'm focusing on 40 bar uh, bat scale and 40 bar BNMC derived forecast around a forecast time of uh, nine hours. Um, it can be, explained by rapid increase of radius of maximum wind in a tropical cyclone. As you can see, if we take the mean value, radius of maximum wind rapidly increased like that. The reason for this might be, uh, you know, 40 bar BNMC may distribute more energy to a large scale. You know, uh, expansion of tropical cyclone uh, means, that, you know, if we think about the quasi conservation of angular momentum, it is related to the, you know, uh, maximum wind Tendency. So, uh, as a result, you know, 40 bar BNMC result the weakening bias in terms of, uh, tropical cyclone intensity at maximum wind speed. Okay, finally, I'd like to move on to the real data simulation and forecast, uh, for three heavy rainfall, uh, cases. And actually, uh, even if uh, we corrected, we compiled 100 for forecast, 
for three rainfall event in Japan, uh, I found that threat, in terms of a threat score, no significant difference among data simulation method, uh, except you know LTKF system gives a bad result. But I do not think LTKF is bad because the effective you know the scale is very different. The forty bar system usually uh, mean uses the five kilometer mesh after uh, employing the you know incremental approach. But um, um, there is no significant difference among 40 bar based systems. But in terms of a fraction skill score, uh, statistically significant uh, in hybrid system were found in this way. And compared to the others for the forecast time of zero to six hours and 30 to 36 hours. Uh, it means, you know, if a forecast fraction skill score uh, is a matrix to describe the potential of heavy rainfall events. So, uh, it shows the hybrid system might be useful in, uh, in terms of predicting the potential of severe weather event. But at least, you know, my uh, numerical system is concerned. Uh, we, I think we need to more experiment to confirm this finding. Okay, let me summarize uh, my work. Um, this work was published in uh, Mass Reuse Review last year. Actually, basically, the hybrid systems yield better initial conditions for predicting severe weather events than 40 bar BNMC. It's what, what we expected. And mesoscale hybrid systems, we develop uh, based on, you know, JMA no hydrostatic model and like that. Okay. I stop here. Thank you very much. <laughs>